another month and another favorites video. Actually, no. I think the last time I filmed a favorites video was about three or four months ago. Hey guys, it's Ruby, and today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite products for the month of July. If you'd like to see my favorite hair care, skincare, and makeup picks, then please keep on watching. So the first product I have here is the Braun Face Cleansing Brush and Mini Epilator. This product I actually saw first in Maya. Um, my boyfriend was getting an electric razor for himself and I just kind of made my way over to the women's section. Saw the Braun Face and I wanted to try a cleansing brush for the longest time, but the thought of spending hundreds of dollars on just a face brush, it it honestly made me sick. So when I saw this and I saw it was just under a hundred bucks, I thought to myself, hey, if I don't like the cleansing brush, I can at least use the epilator since I do my own lady moustache, I get rid of my own peach fuzz, I do my own brows. Um, so I thought, hey, why not just give it a go and see, you know, how it does. Put it to the test, pretty much. I love it. I love the idea. I think it's brilliant. It's affordable. The cleansing brush has an oscillating head, so it cleanses your skin really well. It's very gentle, so even if you have sensitive skin, you can still enjoy cleansing your skin and exfoliating your skin using a face brush. The mini facial epilator is also so handy. I do my upper lip, I do my own peach fuzz, <laughs> peach fuzz, and I also do my brows myself. So it's just a complete salon beauty tool that you can have at home and it's less than a hundred bucks. So of course I was going to include it in a favorites video. It's 100% waterproof, so I do take this along with me inside the shower. And why wouldn't you take advantage of all that steam that you have when you are taking a shower? And by buffing away all those dead, unwanted skin cells, it just helps reveal my skin's natural glow. My skincare savior this month has been the Jurgens Ultra Healing Nourishing Body Moisturizer and I like to apply this after I've had my shower. This lotion also has like this illuminating finish to it so when I am exposing my legs, if I'm wearing a skirt or shorts um, or a dress then I just use this on my legs and it just gives it like a really nice glow so if you are looking for a very cheap moisturizer I picked this up from Priceline for like six or seven dollars maybe it could it could have been less um, you should definitely try out this range. And if you do have dry skin, the ultra healing one is. My favorite shampoo and conditioner is the Pantene Pro-V Ultimate 10. I use both the shampoo and conditioner when I'm in the shower. And for those of you who don't know, Pantene have reformulated their products. So they now have the keratin damage blockers. So they're much more nourishing and hydrating for the hair. And the Ultimate 10 is just like your all-in-one for hair care. It detangles, it smooths, it hydrates, it adds shine. It helps with like any split ends and all that. We're doing a um, updated hair routine with this shampoo and conditioner. I filmed it actually. I filmed it. I'm just editing it right now. The last hair care product that I have to show you is the Wella SP Luxoil and you would have seen this in my last favorites video. I use this on my hair every single day when I'm styling my hair after I've washed my hair. It's just one of those serums that works. It controls frizz, it smooths out the hair and it gives the hair a really nice sheen. It's very good for the hair doesn't feel oily and sticky. I feel like one serum that you can't use too much of is this one. A constructive elixir, so if you are worried about your damaged ends and you know if you've colored your hair, if you've permanently straightened your hair or permed your hair, it is just one of those serums to have um, and use every single day. So I have a new favorite foundation, which means that I have to make another updated foundation routine video. Um, if you haven't seen my last one, I will link it down below and on the screen somewhere here. Um, but my go-to foundation this month has been the Models Prefer Argan Foundation in the shade uh, Nude. If you've got oily skin, don't be scared. Um, this won't make you oily. I know a lot of people with oily skin um, kind of just get scared that you know, putting oil on your face will just produce more oil and it doesn't work that way. Um, and if you've got dry skin like myself, then it is just such a comfortable, hydrating foundation that looks really natural. It has a very pretty luminous glow and I'm wearing it right now. I've got no powder on. If you are on the market for a very luminous, you know, everyday foundation, then look no further than models prefer because not only is it affordable, it's really good quality. You're all wondering what lipstick I've got on. And <laughs> let me just tell you, when it comes to lipsticks and lip colors, 
I have two extremes. I either pick colors that are very nude, pinky nude and very girly, or I go vampy in this dark. So I really don't have an in-between when it comes to lip colors. I either go nude or I go almost black or a purple or a very dark red. Illa Masca, this is the um, Glamour Lipstick in the shade Vampette. What I like about this one is it's not matte. I don't know if you can see, the color has a slight sheen to it. And I like that because it feels conditioning on the lips. Oh, and see, I've never had like a favorite mascara, a holy grail mascara because I'm very fortunate enough to have Middle Eastern roots, so when it comes to having like thick eyebrows and eyelashes, you know, mascaras just don't really make a difference, like, to me. I don't know, I've never found a mascara that I loved and worshipped and repurchased because to me, mascara is mascara. Until I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. It can go from a really, really pretty fluffy daytime lash to a very extreme like evening lash it doesn't feel heavy the formula doesn't clump the brush is just like my ideal brush where it's kind of skinny on the tip it's got lots of bristles um, it just coats every lash individually the next product I have is another Illamasqua product this is the powder blush in the color rush blush rush it's a gold blush, but you can totally wear this as a highlighter, especially if you have a warmer complexion. I kind of like to dust this like with a really, really big fluffy brush, like a powder brush, all over my face just to give my skin like a really nice dewy finish. Um, it's just a really good product to have. You can use it on your eyes, you can use it on your face, um, not just as a blush, but also as a highlighter as well. It's just really pretty. And now that like the whole strobing trend is in, I just think it's a really nice, warm, highlighting shade to have um, in your collection. So if you guys are following me on Snapchat and you've been watching my snaps, you would know that I've had quite some trouble sleeping and I don't know what it is. I've just had trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. It feels like a really long time since I've had a really good deep sleep. The Blackmore Sleep Support Valerian Fort for Insomnia. What I've noticed with this vitamin is that it helps reduce the amount of time it takes for me to fall asleep. I wake up feeling refreshed and I'm also able to enjoy a deeper sleep. If you're somebody who suffers with period pains like cramps and if you suffer with migraines because I suffer with cramps and I have a lot of migraines and um, my doctor recommended that I take some magnesium so magnesium helps to relax muscles um, around the body and I've also been taking this before bed and it just helps me feel more relaxed as well so these two together have just been wonderful for me wonderful for my health and yeah I just thought I'd share them with you guys and these are my favorite products for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that I introduced you to some products that may change your life. I mean, they've been a life changer for me. Um, oh, actually, before I go, um, I went to Sunglass Hut and I picked up new season sunglasses from Versace that I wanted to show you because they are so gorgeous. I don't know why I whisper when it comes to like, I don't know. Anyways, I'll show them. They've got... A, f a lens right across the front so it just looks so cool thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in my next video